Let's get cursed. Whew. Life-size coffin, my actual ass. <laughs> it's October, and that means I am at my most insufferable. I wanted to do an appropriate sewing project. And because over on Instagram, if you don't follow me over there, I'm doing 13 days of Maxween. This look is one of my planned ones. And as an added bonus, it is another episode of But Make It Vintage. Or But Make It Vintage. As you all love to remind me. And I thought what a better icon to vintageify than Mothman himself. I just, there's something about cryptids. I just I love them so much. Possibly because in the right lighting, in the right setting, I myself am a cryptid. Whoopsie! Stay. Well, that's not quite right now, is it? Now as for specifics, I kind of want to give Mothman, or Mothmam, as one of Savannah's followers brilliantly put it, a little showgirl twist. Kind of like a 1920s theatrical flapper, wing flapper. For this costume, I am going to make 20s inspired bodice dress, a wing capelet. To quite literally top it all off, I'm gonna make a little headpiece with glowing Mothman eyes and antenna. Just to have the option to make it slightly more cursed, I'm gonna add something else to that and you will see that at the end. For now, I will keep it secret, keep it safe. And because it is a crappy rainy day outside, it's time for... <laughs> exactly what I'm looking for. I'm hoping that we'll just see something that, you know, strikes us full of inspiration. Preferably some sort of black fabric. Hopefully some black fur. That will be smashing. Let's freaking do it. This place is hopping. I don't need this, but it's pretty. Oh no. Oh no. Oops. All right, the haul. Starting off with this quilted fabric that I definitely don't need for this project, but it has potential, a medieval doublet or something. Oopsie. And so it shall go to my stash and probably not be touched for the rest of eternity. <laughs> this, I honestly don't know what this is. Tablecloth, this side is kind of textured, right? But if you probably flap it on over, this side, like a smoother quilted material. I'm thinking of making the base dress out of this and there's a lot of it so I actually also might make the wings out of this. Kind of cutesy and aesthetic. S S aesthetic. Oh. Which fun fact was $14.99. And that folks is highway robbery. Would it have been possibly cheaper just to get some fake fur from the fabric store? Yeah. My sustainable ass from the fabric store, I'm still kind of reeling from a traumatic experience I had. <sighs> this fun trim, leftover Halloween decorations. I was kind of stressing about how I was gonna do the antennas, the an antennae. Huh? The rest of the material, I am just gonna use what I have and we're gonna make it work. I think let's start on the wings. First, I gotta move this other set of wings. Just casual tings, just wing tings. <sighs> All right, tight. Mothman is sort of, uh, seems to me, an amalgamation of a few different animals. I've seen iterations of him looking a little bit more moth-like with the moth wings, but I've also seen bird-like wings. I'm gonna go feathers. Kind of a choose your own adventure here. I am going to do kind of the same method that I think you've seen. Hello there, Hi, bugaboo where I'm gonna lay out this craft fabric over here, like so. Okay, make a pattern piece by lying down, figuring out my wingspan, drawing the shape that I want. This reminds me of gym class when they made you do crunches, and then you just have to sit there in your shame. Stop that. Thank you so much, but also, please stop. And I think for this, we only need to do one side, because they're gonna be the same. Wingspan, check middle of the back, 
sort of check. This reminds me of the time that I was reminded of the time that it felt like the weirdest thing I've ever done. You know, this reminds me of the time that I realized this was probably the weirdest thing I've ever done in a video. This is me realizing that this is one of the weirdest things I've ever done in a video. This is one of the weirdest things I've ever done in a video. And I'd like to proudly say, since then, weirder things have been done. So we're gonna go like that. A little bit of that. Pretty cool. Maybe. <laughs> now that I've got this sort of basic pattern, I can cut it out of the base fabric. So let's do that. I've got the wing shape. It's time to cut out a million foam feathers. Taking these craft foam sheets that you can get at pretty much any craft store in the kids section, I have a cornucopia of these. I am going to paint everything in the end. It's just gonna be Mothman in the multicolor wingspan. Wow, well, well, let's dig it to do it. So began my journey of cutting out so many feathers. I kind of didn't really have a method to this. I was kind of just winging it. You could say it was also up in the air. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Several bad puns later. Uh, here she is so far. You ready? I'm very, very happy with this. I'm kind of sad that I have to make it goth. <laughs> I will be going in and adding more texture, you know? <laughs> Good progress for today. Tomorrow we can get started on sewing. I'm telling you, wings are like the funnest thing that you can put on your body. <laughs> See you tomorrow. All right, where's my coffee? Coffee. Let's start sewing the dress. Now for this, as you saw in my sketch, I kind of want to go for like a, a circusy 1920s, 1930s kind of look. But trust me, no one wants to see this girl in a leotard. To combat that bit of self-consciousness, grab this pattern online. It's a 1950s bathing suit pattern. It seems really, really simple. I want to use that quilted fabric that I got from the thrift <laughs> That I got from the thrift store. Making sure my decorations are not currently on fire. We're good. Mm. Mostly four pieces. The bodice front, the front, the side front, the back, and the side back. That's five. Amongst my other talents, counting is definitely up there. I'm gonna cut out these pieces, lay them on the fabric, and we can get to work. Little tidbit about me, I, I don't actually need glasses yet. They're like an instant comfort thing for me. It's kind of like in Big Daddy when he puts on the sunglasses and then he just turns invisible. That's kind of how I feel. Sometimes you just don't wish to be perceived. Thank you for joining me on Why Do My Brain Do The Things It Do? Till next time, let's get started. This dress is really stinking cute. Oh, so freaking cute. I also feel like it's something that Kylo Ren would wear. Get in, losers. We're taking over the galaxy and being a general disappointment to our parents. I have a little bit more to do on this. I have to hem it. Before I put the zipper on, I think I'm going to add some trim. And then also, the only part about this pattern I don't like is the chest area. I don't think I did it right. Go buy some beading to put here, because I think that would be kind of cute. That stuff is boring, so I'm gonna do that off camera. But for now, let's work on the headpiece. In order to do this, I am going to take my usual method of wrapping myself in plastic and then duct tape. I used this on my Medusa headpiece and it worked smashingly. Unfortunately, I am all out of plastic wrap, but I think this is gonna work. You know, I specifically think there are warning labels advising against such an action, but um. <laughs> Niagara Falls core. <laughs> the handy dandy duct tape. Great. I'm doing so good. I love this. 
At this point, I should just open up a lifelong subscription to big duct tape. Gosh ding ding dang! Oh, oh freaking freck. This is fine. Well, lady, there's our hat. May look like hot, juicy garbage right now, but we'll make it mediocre, don't worry. See you tomorrow, baby. Starting off this day, I added some trim to this because it was starting to look a little Y2K. So I just pinned that trim on that I got and sewed it. And then afterward, my entire home looked like the crows have eyes. They also have wings! I didn't even go in here. <laughs> It's time to get a little technical. Moving on to the headpiece. I'm really kind of in my mad scientist electric phase. I really just love researching how I can make things move and light up and kind of have an interactive quality to it. So on that headpiece, I do want to have two glowing Mothman eyes because what is Mothman without those piercing peepers and a strong set of butt cheeks? <laughs> I gathered my very limited knowledge of what I've seen other cosplayers do, which is generally how I work. I grabbed plastic ornaments. I got one specifically that boop. So they're just these two halves, which is perfect for two Mothman eyes. And then I also got some lights, which a battery pack and then two strands. But the problem is essentially light doesn't really diffuse well in these plastic bulbs as it is. But I figured if I could somehow frost these and create sort of the diffusion in there and Nick, without even asking, ran out to his tool shed, came up with the idea of sanding the outside of it. And then we stick that in there and then we drop it. It's a little bit better. To take it a step further, I'm also gonna wrap these in parchment paper because that's gonna diffuse it even more. I have to somehow <laughs> take that duct tape cap that we made yesterday, stick these in there, and also one battery pack per eye. We're gonna have to get a little creative, but we're covering the whole thing with fur anyways. If it's a little lumpy dumpy, that's okay. No one's gonna see it. Also, ain't nothing wrong with lumpy dumpy. Words to live by. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Electronics. Okay. Okay, so I've decided to be somewhat responsible because this ain't it, chief. I'm gonna take this and use it as what it really should be used as, a pattern piece. I'm gonna cut it in half and that's gonna give me the shape of half of the cap. And then, just gonna take some thin foam and then we're gonna make the base of the cap. I do need it to have a little bit of shape. I hate when I actually have to think about my actions. Let's cut this baby up. I can just cut out two of these. It looks like either Stewie Griffin or, hey Arnold. Move it, football head! Oh. I'm a dummy! It's fine, everything's fine, we're figuring it out. This is truly one of those projects that I just had little to no actual plan for. I just kind of started moving my body parts and here we are. Basically, I made these darts so that it would be more of a circular shape. Ta-da! A hat that Link would wear in Breath of the Wild, I guess. Fear not, my friends. I'm going to contact cement. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> While that glue is setting, I just wanted to show you something. I noticed this the other week. What? We've got a real Jumanji situation happening. Um, it goes there and it's also in the crack over here. What you doing there, friend? I kind of want to just leave it the way it is. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I mean, winter's coming up anyways. It's gonna die, right? I might as well let it live out its end of life cycle in a whimsical fairy tale barn. The least I can do. Anywho. Ow. Well, that didn't work. Just looks like a skull cap. It's all right. We adapt. Okay, I heat formed it a little and I think we saved it. Nice. Figure out where I'm putting the eyes, cut a hole in there, stick the eyes through, glue it, all that good stuff. 
let's do that. First, I made a little diapy out of parchment paper for these bulbs. stuck the battery packs on just with a copious amount of hot glue. Ready? <laughs> it's alive! Give up the old razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle. Admittedly, I probably could move these up a little. Maybe I'll cut this a tiny bit. Be right back. That's better. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick the antenna in. I think it's time to get to wrecking. So let's take this egregiously overpriced jacket. I'm gonna skin it. I love destroying things. <laughs> I'm gonna be covered in so many different kinds of fibers by the end of this. I think I'm gonna cut strips of this and then just glue it to the headpiece. Just glue the strips as needed. Sublime. I then realized my lung safety was probably important, so I threw on a mask. You know what they say in cosplay, safety, second or third. Bye, I'm gonna wear this every day for the rest of my life. Just a math boy. I'm gonna switch gears back into finishing up the wings, paint all of the feathers, add a trim on top to hide all of those raw foam edges, add some straps to attach to my arm, and then I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach the back to myself yet. I think I might just go elastic, so it's like a little backpack. Let's paint. Oh, oh, oh. just hot gluing the straps on that we're gonna go around my arm with a good helping of hot glue. Do a dollop of hot glue. To finish up the dress, I went out and I got this trim from the fabric store. I decided to chop it up a little bit to give it like a moth shape. So it's kind of like a hidden moth. And then using that to hide the absolutely atrocious chest area of the dress. I also grabbed this lacy trim to go above the feathers just to try to mitigate the 2000s look. And yes, I hot glued this on, okay? I paid my dues sewing on trim with my Ever After dress. I don't want to hear it. I'm greasy. I'm dehydrated. Let's go. Let's do the makeup. Silent film, OG doe eyes kind of look. Don't look at how messy my room is. I know you are. Don't do it. Take off my makeup first because it's crusty. Hey, I hate to say it because this is a 1920s look. We've got to block the brows. I know. Look, I don't want to either. Here goes nothing. Glue, powder, glue. Powder. Really press it in there. One more time. My trick to this, no hesitation. If you let it know you're scared, it's gonna show. Good enough. <laughs> Some red tones cancel out the black of my eyebrows. Cute, leave it like this. If you like, concealer. There we go. Don't worry, it's still me. It's not me a goth. <laughs> That's enough. Stand up. Let's put on some foundation. I think I'm gonna lean towards this image right here for my overall makeup. Yet again, we just have to show confidence here. Okay. Now to try to match that. There. Stop that! Like two apostrophes, the eyelids. Oh, 
Stop! I said, I heard you're making a video about our Lord and Savior Mothman. I'm also using this photo as inspiration for sort of like the lower lids. Oh, let's talk about cryptids. Rouge in a really random spot. It's fine. I'm gonna add some lashes and lipstick. Okay, wig time. Don't really know how this wig is gonna work out. I tried to curl it. A lot of this is gonna be covered with the headpiece, so I'm uh, thinking at least I can do like some Betty Boop little curls here. So anyways, I started blasting. Blasting free spray. Ugh. Boop boop, be doop. Okay, that's enough of that. Get dressed and try everything on. See you in the reveal. I may have destroyed a lot of my hair and makeup when putting a turtleneck on. Turtleneck is vintage's worst nightmare. Ta-da! <laughs> there she is! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Overall, super happy with it. My favorite parts? The headpiece. I am so glad that the glowing eyes worked. I think it's so cute. Uh oh <laughs> no, I think it's so cute. I think this would be really cute at like a Halloween party or um, a cryptid party, which is a great idea. You're welcome. <laughs> I really lucked out with these Halloween decorations that they made like the perfect antenna. The wings I'm also pretty happy with. They're a little bit sticky right now. I think because of the spray paint, if they touch any sort of surface, they kind of bring that surface with them. So there's a lot of hair on these right now. Glad that I went with kind of the bird route, even though without the headpiece, it's it's giving crow lady. It moves really well. It kind of flaps a little, which makes me happy. Ding. As far as the dress, I mean, there's not much going on. I think it's got like a really cute shape. I'm glad I went in with the trim. It made it look slightly less like Baby Spice Goes Goth. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this project. The Mothman, the myth, the legend. Another Maxween look down if you want to keep up with all of the other ones. I've already posted like half of them. It's over on Instagram. I kind of went a little bit all out with costumes this year and I only regret it. A little bit. Also, patreon.com slash Rachel Maxi, $5 a month if you want to see behind the scenes stuff and live streams and all that good stuff. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! What is this, a coffin for ants? Dooby doo wow wow. Dooby 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 doo. Look like Goth Louise from Bob's Burgers. I. Hello. Thank you. Hey. Hey. What's the matter? I feel like a magician. <laughs> I'm showing you like sleight of hand. Oh, what the hell, David Blaine? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't it. This ain't it, ch chief. Did I just have a stroke? Oh, the beast is out there. <laughs>